I want to see if these gnome gods drop anything, but I'm not going to kill them now. I'm going to kill them some other time. They'd be good for now. I've got no beef with them. Right, we got... Yeah, here's the actual agility arena. There's also a gnome ball. We like do this random throwing thing. And I actually, I actually thought... Because I had no idea when I just became a member. I think it was a couple of weeks, maybe. Or, you know, if you do, I don't really remember when I started training agility. But, um, yeah, I wasn't really sure how to train agility at all. Um, and I'd read that you kind of need to come up here or something. So I just, I, um, I started playing Gnome Ball for like a tiny amount, I think you get a tiny amount of agility experience. I was just like a massive noob. No idea what I was doing at all. It was quite unfortunate. There is blood splats. That clearly means that some people have been falling off. As a nice addition to this course. Boom, level up. That's literally how easy low level agility is. And that was five to six. But as soon as you get as soon as you get a slightly higher level, like I've only got sixty. And even with the double XP of the skull boots, oh man, it's so difficult. It takes forever. It's almost definitely the worst skill, like that you can do. What is? Th oh, that's a nice sign. Yeah, like literally almost the worst skill. Maybe even the worst skill because at least out of like rune crafting, that's crap. But at least you get something useful. I have agility. You just have to have it for, you know, quests, and you need, like, 70 to go into the Sarah God Wars dungeon area. So, you pretty much only do it for quests, and to get into the God Wars dungeon area. Um, and anyone who's got 99, I s applaud them. I applaud anyone who's got 99 legit. You are, you obviously have nothing better to do. Congratulations. No, it's... I, th I think some people find it quite fun, but you know, it's just, it's not for me. Agility, you know, it's not my scene. Boom, level up again. This is a doddle. That low level, and bearing in mind I'm only going to be getting to a small level. Um, just enough so that I'll be able to run for a little bit longer and, as I said, get under the shortcut. Because it's just faster than... It's the, like the fastest way to get to Edgeville from uh, from Varric. Which also reminds me, I should probably go and kill some... I'm th trying to think as far ahead as I can like at the moment with things that I'm going to kill and items that I'll need in, you know, say, a hundred episodes. Like, what, epi what, what items will I need? What will I be doing? And, um... As soon as I've done Lost City, which is the quest for the Dragon Longsword, which won't be for quite a while, but when it is, I'm going to need a diamond, and diamonds are pretty hard to find, uh, but I know, I'm pretty sure that hill giants drop them occasionally, but hill giants also drop big bones, which are incredibly useful, like, at the same time, uh, and they drop, they drop seeds, they drop, you know, herbs, they're pretty much all round useful. Um, so I'm pretty sure that I'm going to go kill them eventually. Uh, it will most likely be with magic, because my range level isn't isn't good at at all at the moment. It's pretty pathetic. I think it's five. Um, I'm almost yeah, it's still five. Um, and I don't particularly want to go and train that right from the beginning. So what I'm most likely going to do is train the other skills. Hopefully, I'll be able to find a way to make a lot of cash without trading. If you guys have got any ideas on how to make cash without trading, please tell me in the comments below. Like, I have got no idea. I've done all of my money making with trading and everything. I just don't know. It was so long ago, and I'm so used to the Grand Exchange. I've got no idea what to do, what to sell. And I'm not talking, you know, 20k, I'm, I need bare money, like, a lot, like a serious amount, like, a, a mil would be good for everything that I'm going to need to buy, it's about 200k for the, for full rune, it will be about 
about that. Uh, not including a plate body, it will be a chain body until I've done Dragon Slayer, but I could just skip that. But at the same time, there isn't really any, like, melee bodies apart from the room plate for ages, and I mean, I'm not sure where you get... Where do you get a granite plate? I honestly can't think where you get the granite plate from, but I'm almost certain it's something much too high level to kill for someone who would use a granite plate. And the granite legs come from like skeletal wyverns, and they're super rare. So there ain't there ain't one shit one shit in chance I'm ever gonna get those. Um, I mean I've killed hundreds of skeletal wyverns in my main, and I still haven't got any. Um, but yeah, I can't really think of any other melee bodies that would be useful at all. I mean, with range, after you've completed Dragon Slayer, it also lets you use the green dragon hide um, body. Like, you know, the green dragon hide uh, body, which I, again, probably won't have um, until I've done that quest and I get it from the shop. Um, but that can be replaced 10 levels after that with a blue dragon hide one if I can find one from somewhere. And I'm sure that some things drop them. So I should be okay for that. And if not, I could just keep a hard leather body because range isn't too important. Because for the most part, for the most part, in range, you just. Um, you just kind of stand there and like shoot people where they can't get you. Which is pretty, pretty awesome. You know? I'm liking the people not being able to attack you at all. Some good stuff. Oh god, I got my strange rocks. I completely blanked out on getting those. That's awesome. Yeah, which reminds me, I need to go to Varrock Museum and grab the piece of paper which tells me what skills I still need them for. Um, because you get some serious bonus XP from doing them. Um, so I'm going to do my best to try and do them every week. Um, it is m maybe every two weeks because it is, it is a little bit difficult um, unless you're going for it you know I've, I've never done it because I haven't managed to get all the strange rocks because when I train something I usually just train that for ages and you know I never train runecrafting so I'm missing the runecrafting ones and such which also reminds me when I get this I need to go and use my hundred daily rune essence possible triple loot from men epic yeah I love the new agility triple loot if you combine triple loot with pickpocket in a master farmer with the rd cloak 3 I think the rd cloak 3 are that you get from doing the tasks gives you like a 1 in 1000 chance to be caught so it severely reduces the chance to be caught when pickpocketing. But if you and if you get triple loot, there's a master farmer that you can just spam click, and he drops like torstal seeds and stuff. Obviously, they're quite rare. But when you're getting triple loot, and you can just basically spam click it and never get caught, then you know, wait, what? Peas? Yeah. Um, someone's someone's saying something to me. I don't know. I don't really get what it was though. Do they think my name is funny? Do they enjoy my name? Are they the massivest fans of my videos? The chance is incredibly small with my 30 something subscribers at the moment. Um, thumbs up if I've got way more than that now. Obviously because these... I'm, I'm getting a backup of them. Um, I got loads recorded already. Um, I, I just upload, I'm uploading episode 15 right now, so that kind of gives you an idea of time, like how many I've uploaded to, how many I've recorded, but yeah, oh wait, what, what level am I for, um, what level, oh, 11, I only 2 XP left, so I'm just trying to level up, 12, whoopee! Right, so I need to remember, before I leave this place, I need to go back to Sears Village and grab me as much flax as I can hold in my bank. I'll probably just grab a bit, 
but I also need to string it into strings so when I do start making uh, let's just say willow longbows for example I'll be able to um, I'll be able to string them all and get the correct amount of XP and then sell them for a moderate profit but uh, it will only be moderate it's maybe a hundred each so even if I make a thousand which I won't that's still only like a hundred K which is quite a lot now that I've weighed up I wonder what the high alk price is because if I can get high alk and then I can make loads of bows I can just I can literally just stand there and high alk them like yeah that's a pretty good idea if I can get so if I can get something which is worth more to high alk but in bulk maybe if something high alks for 500 um, because nature runes aren't exactly easy to get and if you buy them from the shop they cost like 370 which is absolutely ridiculous um, but yeah maybe if I can find something fletching does seem like the obvious skill but let's see anything else hmm looking through the skills I could maybe train up I want to know how much you know like iron plate legs and stuff so if I was to get smithing up then I could do those uh, pouches yeah pouches high out for quite a lot actually but I have to spend the money to make them there's like no way to make a profit from them unless I make things ah right I'm, I'm really getting somewhere here right I'm gonna do my best to make pouches which high out for a lot because the ingredients to make them cost a lot um but because I'm not paying for them and I have to go and get them all myself I won't be losing money and I'll basically be turning all of that work that I spent getting the secondary items that will be basically like selling them just I'll be high alking them for myself if you understand what I mean but I'm not exactly sure I'll have to look at what the high alk prices is prices are and I'll have to go for one which high alks for at least 500 and it won't, won't um, a gold charm would be a nice thing to have it made by because I don't exactly I'm not exactly stocking up on charms at the moment I'll have to check how much granite how much no not granite um, rock lobsters uh, how much they um, how much the, 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 how much they high out for I have completely lost my thing but I, I don't I have got no idea who this person is I am um, are they just trying to make a normal conversation do they know me from somewhere do they think they know me from somewhere hmm right I was talking about yes rock lobsters I want to know how much they high out for because they only cost how much is HR they cost 200 to make um, so if they high out for 600 ish um, then that I could work that could make me some profit um, but still not too much unless I can find a way to get a large amount of nature runes maybe I could go rune crafting for nature runes I I'm gonna check what level it is to craft nature runes because if I can make the nature runes by myself um, with this um, hat I'll be able to craft a uh, hundred a day well, you know like 125 a day in like 30 seconds which will be awesome but also you know I'll be able to just do trips because it's not it's not the hardest altar to get to and a lot of people do runs I don't have a fast way to teleport there in fact I think you know I think the the, the way to get there I'd, I've got no idea I'd have to go through the abyss if I wanted to do it and if you don't know the abyss is like 
it's this weird little place. Uh, you get scold as soon as you go inside there. There's loads of high level monsters, but there's every there's a teleport to every kind of altar um in there. Like every rune crafting altar. So actually I could use I could use the abyss to make any kind of rune that I needed as providing that I had the correct uh mine you know, the correct rune crafting level. But rune crafting is a hard skill to train up. It's it's incredibly difficult actually. Um it takes it takes forever. And that even then you can't make them very fast unless you've got special like teleport like you can I think it's a spirit kayak. Um which allows you yeah, the spirit kayaks which can teleport you pretty much right next to the altar of the nature rune thing. Um and you also um people usually use what rings of jeweling to teleport to a bank that's right next to them. And they're going to be a, a bit of a pain to get because emerald, one emerald for each, plus like a cosmic rune. So rune crafting is almost out of the picture unless I use the abyss and then like home telly every time. No, in fact, I could, I could teleport, you know, using a special teleport, but I'd probably just home telly every time. Um. So yeah, abyss, telly. That'd be all good, right? Now, let's see. I'm just gonna nip into the rune crafting skill guide. Where is it? It's there. What level is nature runes? Hmm. You were telling me. Forty-four. Oh fuck. Pardon my language, but that is awful. God damn. That's really annoying, isn't it? That's like a serious pain. Like, like I don't even know. Ah, oh, fiddle me, gyms. 44, I'm not going to be able to get that anytime soon. Especially not by crafting, you know, crap, which is like air runes. Where's that person gone that was talking to me? He just seems to have disappeared. He's abandoned me. I'll miss him. I'll miss him forever. Goodbye, Buck. I'll miss you. I'm gonna bail on this place as soon as I've done this this level. This is boring as hell. Like, I understand that it's like important and whatever, but I'll come back some other time and do the rest of the levels. Damn. And this is low level agility. The amount of effort that this has taken wouldn't have even got me up one level on my man. Ugh. In fact I think it would have got up like a tenth of a level. It's, it's a str even with the double XP. Oh man. Maybe a third at best with double XP. But it is stupid round Balin. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm gonna go pick some flax. Uh, I'm also gonna end the episode. Please thumbs up this video. Leave a comment down below. Tell your friends about my videos. Goodbye.